What's going on, Adub Gang? Welcome back to another tournament video. This is not a Tuesday tournament. This is actually a weekend tournament, and it's a little bit different because we are not taking out the big boat. We're actually taking out a John boat. Now, I've actually already fished this tournament. I already know how it all went. I'm filming this intro after the fact, and it's a pretty crazy video. We had something unexpected happen. We, uh, I've, I've never had to deal with something like this before in my years of tournament fishing. So it was definitely pretty interesting. You guys are gonna wanna watch till the end because that's when most of the action is. But the thing is, is that we do have some really, really cool footage throughout the day. So honestly, if you just watch through the whole video, that is your best option for today's video. Before we go ahead and hop right in to the fishing, Go ahead, leave a like on this video if you guys have been enjoying the channel. And if you guys think this is gonna be a banger, go ahead, leave a big like. Leave me a comment down below after you guys have watched a little bit and let me know what you enjoyed about the video, what you guys wanna see, and go ahead and subscribe down below if you wanna see some more crazy awesome content like this. Now let's go ahead, hop into the fishing video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I think I think everybody's gonna enjoy this one because uh, it's a pretty cool video. Oh, dude. I knew it. Thank Huge. God my Huge. spot is working. All right, we gotta clear out. The Thank line. God. I Not a giant, fish. but she's a fish, dude. Good first fish to start the day. I'm gonna like take a couple of these ice packs out. That's fine. How many do you have? Did I've, you bring one too? Uh, yeah, I have one. All right, cool. Dude, what do you think that? You want, here, let's weigh her. You want to? Yeah. Do you have a scale? Yeah, it's like not that accurate, but yeah. Yeah, let's try to hurry up too, yeah, if we can. That way we can go ahead and see if we can get another one. Facts, definitely. Nice fish though, on the frog. You're gonna work me again, are you? I told you. Dude, I'm so happy my spot paid off, dude. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta weigh him in kilos. Dude, just don't let her fall 115, 117, 115. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> That's uh, 115 times 0. 0.22. 1.17 times 2.2, so that's probably like a two and a half. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna need about 14 to 15 minutes. I'm telling you, we'll need it. I mean, I don't know how good these guys are, but I know this lake will produce that. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I pray it's cloudy today, though. Back, dude. I'm not dude, trying to get sunburned. I'm not even worried about that. If it's cloudy, I can catch him on a frog all day. That's true. <laughs> I love this lake for top water. I love frog fishing. You can, <laughs> I mean, dude, I love frog fishing more. Bro, than I do it so much. Like it's like, I'm so good at it. Just I've done it so much. This is one of the first places where I really like learned how to like hone it in. Really? Yeah. That's about me with her. It's like a couple of years ago. I mean, I've done it in ponds, but like for lakes, this was like my go-to like frog spot. Like this was it. Yeah, this is about as far as I normally fish this stretch. I mean, we can keep going. I don't really care, but. Let's go uh, cut across and hit that point. That's fine. If you don't mind. Yeah, we can do that. Unless you want to try to get another topwater bite real quick while we got the light like it is. That's true, yeah. You want to just keep going down here? Um, we could do that, or if you want to, we can cut across and go back into one of those cuts. Dude, there used to be this massive... Oh, I just had another one hit the tail. I saw that. There used to be this, like, massive grass mat here. Like, it was huge. Really? And you literally hear fish just rolling over in it and nobody could ever catch them. Dude, I figured out how to catch them and it was lights freaking out, dude. With that white lizard, that fluke, and then I started punching it, it was like, bam, every cast, bam, bam, bam. It was like, it was so stupid, dude. I've uh, I've fished here too, like in the morning in a couple cuts and, or when it's cloudy and you'll, you'll hear the fish and you'll see them rolling in the back of these coves and all the grass. And you throw a frog back there where they're rolling at, and they literally just explode on it. Like, it's insane. Come on, baby. One more on the frog, and then I'll put it down. I just know it'll be a good bite. Yeah. That's the thing with the frog. It's probably, like, a good thing to be like, fishing it. If you hook one on it, it's going to be a good fish. Yep. There's somebody up there fishing the bridge, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. 
Is the point further than that? Or the, not the point, the place you want on the grass? I think it's right there where they're sitting at, in this, inside on the left. Okay. That little place where I had that blow up is, the grass is on the right side. Got one? Decent? Is it a keeper? Yeah. 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 That's what we're talking about. Let me weigh him real quick. Yeah. Yes, sir. Energetic little I'm rascal. Big boy, but I'll take you. That's a two pounder. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's a two. On the shaker head. There you go. Yes, sir, dude. You're on my deep. <laughs> How do you work two, this two. thing? Well, 0. 0.99, so two, two. Two, uh, two? Yeah. yeah right. It's a good sign. Did you grab the tag? Yeah. Cool tag? We got two fish. <laughs> Mine's a 2.57, yours is what, a 2.2? Two, two? Yeah. Yeah. That's five pounds. Now we just catch a nine pounder and then you got 13. <laughs> Actually, you catch a nine pounder, that's 14, not 13. Four. It could happen like that though, it really could. I mean, yeah. That's not good. We need to come, we need to sit over there where we were coming in. There's like a huge drop off, I'm pretty sure. Where is it? Like, It's like, I think it runs this way. I was looking at the graph whenever we drove up. We were in like 30 and then it went up to 19. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like the channel, right? right like, is that what it is? Yeah, right over there. I don't know, I don't think they'll be in. 19. Yeah, I don't know. It just depends. I swear it feels like I had one, dude. Right now? I was like, it was just like weight. Just like I was reeling in weight. It might have been like a piece of grass or something, though. Might have been a <laughs> Fish. Good one? Yep. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I just interrupted your video watching right before a fish catch. I know, but it is worth it because we are doing a giveaway today, boys and girls, and we are actually announcing the last winner for a giveaway two videos ago. All right, so the winner of the last giveaway is actually Laura Andrews. Congratulations, Laura. Go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, you can email me and I have that down in the description down below. But go ahead, get in contact with me and I'll get that package sent out to you ASAP. For all of you who are wondering about the new giveaway, this is what we've got for all of you today. We're mixing it up a little bit today. We have got some trick worms. We have got some shaky head worms and we have got some hooks. Both of these are gonna be really good on these four out hooks. And all you need is just a little bullet weight and you're good to go. Three rules to enter into this giveaway. Number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, leave a like on this video. Number three, for an extra entry, leave a positive, encouraging comment down below. All right, let's hop back into it. We got fish to catch. I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Dang, I thought she was bigger than that. Keep. Yeah, she'll probably keep. Oh, spat the hook right in. Dang, dude, I thought she was bigger than that. Dude, don't worry. Crap. You sounded like me now. <laughs> dude, like, it was on the big worm, though. You sure she'll keep? We're about to check her on the measure I think board. She, yeah, I think she's, she she's 14. You want the bump board or you want to measure on that? Um, I'll measure it on that. If it's close, then yeah. we'll use the bump board. Dude, told you they're all my deep stuff. Don't let me wax you today. Look at his lip, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, He's all not. jacked up. All jacked up. All right, we need her to be 14. Oh, yeah, she's 14 all day. All day. Dude. She's 15. She's 15 and a quarter. All right, we're going to do some little cool tagging. Yeah, dude, I just think we should stay deep the whole time. Ugh. You sucker, dude. Gosh, what's wrong with you? Stop. Dude. All right, here, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in here. She's got a little bit of... Is she, she's the smallest, right? Yeah. All right, so blue. Do you want to go ahead and wear or what? I'm guessing she's probably like, what, 0. 0.7? 0. 0.79. Okay, so she's blue smallest. We'll just kind of remember it, too. Yeah. Smallest fish so far. Yeah, man, we have a non-keeper. 
That feels good. Well, it feels good to have three fish in the boat. By like, gave me a little confidence on my By 7.15. No, I know we can catch them, but it's just yeah. like, if we catch two pounders like that all day, it it's it. like, <laughs> We won't, though. We'll catch some good ones. I told you, I was like, I feel like there's just weight. I'm like, yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm just dragging in weight, but I just can't tell. Yeah, mine, I literally drugged that fish in for probably about 20 feet before I set the hook. I don't know how she wasn't throat hooked. Yeah, dude, she was just right on the corner. And it came right out. Yeah, it popped out before you even unhooked her. That's funny. How deep are we? Four, Four. foot. Have you tried cranking this before? No. We need to try cranking this on today. Yeah. I, I don't have my crank tied on like the one I need, but. I don't have any like ones that are, will go that shallow. I mean, I have a bunch, but I don't have any tied on there. Well, out there is a little bit deeper. That's where the big ones will probably be at too, I think. Yeah. Well, let's just fish on that point and then we'll go down to the next stretch. If I get a fish there, you're going to have to go up there probably. Oh, dude, definitely, yeah. It's like, you can like kind of take in the flow. I'll get up there too. Look, see it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a fish. It was hanging on the side of the log. I'm gonna throw this one. It's only an eight to 12, but I'm gonna throw it. One pounder, here we come. Mm-hmm. When I get a bite, it'll be a big one. Yeah, stumps. She was way bigger dude show. i thought she was too my drag was slipping dude i was reeling my bait in what the heck Just spat it right there show help crawl dude that dude. is really smart everybody's throwing a worm stroker crawl six inch stroker 103 crawl. 103 she helps yes sir she does all right so what we're calling blue uh yeah we are is that what it is yeah So I need to get out. Which one? Blue. This one right here? Yeah, you, can, you can pull it by that. Got her? Yeah. Yeah, this one with the messed up Let's mouth. go! Are we sure that the other one's bigger? Yeah, yes. positive, positive. First call of the day. Yeah. All right, yeah, so. Yeah, baby. Man. Look at her jacked up mouth, dude. Dude, her yeah. Her mouth is so messed up. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, go ahead, release her. First call of the day, let's go. It's been a hot minute since we got a bite. I just got one reeling it in. All right, we got. I was like so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I actually got one. Well, all right then. I guess they, uh, they're they liking the crawl a little bit. Get another one. You know where I cast it? I cast it over there, like where I stopped seeing where that point is, which I'm assuming there's a drop off. I was like just reeling it in, like to reel in another cast and then she just ate it. Dude, I thought you were using the crankbait. No. Is that another one? No, I'm hung. I was about to say. There's a lot of logs and stuff right there. I think that's where she was sitting at. I'm telling you what, I can cast this thing. <laughs> what is that? Half ounce? I don't know. Half or three quarter. Alright, making another coal. This one is barely a coal, but it is a coal. You wanna hold it? Oh, not good. Oh. Is that first cast? Yeah, dude. First cast on my spot, dude. Dude, I cannot believe it. I was not gonna lie, I didn't have too much confidence in it. <laughs> but, you know, now I do. Alright, where... You want to uh, grab the other one and make sure that they're, she's bigger? Go ahead, reweigh no, re re her. Reweigh yeah. her and see. If you don't mind, I'm no, just... Yeah, saying. I think that's good. This was a point... I hope this is a point nine nine. I, I hate throwing the crankbait here, but like I've gotten a really big bite on it before, so I'm just like. And it, dude, it like just looks like a good place to throw it. I mean, even though it does get hung, it's just like makes sense. See, this is on a totally different stump. Mm -hmm. What? 
I caught that one keeper. I caught about five fish, but only one keeper. Okay. A bunch of shorts. We only caught keepers. Huh? We only caught. Can I weigh that in? <laughs> stretch him out if it was Z man. We caught. Stretch it. I think we caught six. What do you say? Hmm? Nope. We're allowed to go like past the. Dad. Yeah, we can go past the 62 yeah, bridge. Okay. The Groom's the, what, the Groomstown is the one with the buoys on it. That's the one you can't okay, go past. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never fished here and I got the bridge. I seen y'all like, There's okay. buoys that say stop, do not enter. I was the one that asked him this morning. I said, can we go on the gas side? He said, yeah. I was like, let's go. Just be careful about not letting them jump out. I guess I'm going to walk over here and see if they're uh, ready for us or not. Yeah, yeah. Because uh... I don't want to bring the fish over there and then not be ready. That one right there ain't a bad one. Yeah, I think we're good. Just go ahead and put them in the bag. We just need some water. They got a bigger fish than we got. They got like a three something. What? Like a three, I think it was like a three five. Okay. And their total bag was eight pounds, four ounces. I don't I don't think ours is gonna be that much. Yeah, I, I heard somebody say 13, but I don't know if that was the guys who went past the thing or not. Probably. Yeah, no. Let's roll with it. What's your guess, seven and a half? I'm gonna guess like right at eight. Those ones he caught, they look good, but now I'm looking at ours. Ours yeah, look no, good too, so. I don't know. We might have. I think it's about seven and a half. Yeah, He's got the scale. Hey. What's your big fish, man? All right, everybody, we're going to pause for a second. You guys just really, really need to listen to these clips that are coming up after this because I'm actually in the process of weighing my fish, and these guys are talking in the background. And these are actually the guys who got caught cheating and it's kind of hard to hear them. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit so you guys can hear it. But um, if you just pay close attention, you can hear what they're saying. And then I'll come in and I will explain a little bit more in depth just because I was there. And I witnessed the whole thing. So go ahead and just listen to these clips. Just listen very carefully. You might have to replay it, but listen very carefully because it's very important to the story. Uh, what do you I don't know. We can't wait yet. You gotta ask Nick. It's on Nick's call, man. This one? Yeah, I think that's big. Is this big? Yeah, that's a big. We'll see how that that's one That's the one is. I caught on the, uh... The, the one I caught was the biggest one, I think. The 2.5. Two pounds, 10 ounces. 2.10. Just put it, yeah, put it in. We didn't even catch our fish, though. See if he's, uh... What did they call? Eight pounds, fifteen ounces. That one's minus you, eleven. That one's two. Okay, two six. Okay. Yeah, so How much is that? He said he didn't. The other one was two six. He said he had to go get. He went to go get a loop. No uh, did you blue. go past that? It don't matter. That's what I said. The boys. It does not matter. Seven, seven. Doesn't matter what. Seven, six. In the rules, if you if he says you can't go past the boys, it doesn't matter. You got six eleven. The boys is the boys is why do we have a on the boys? Why do we have seven? It's more than that. Okay, okay. It says do not go beyond the other side of the boys. I cast my crankbait. It got hung up. I don't want to break off the fifteen dollar crankbait just to go. I'm just to not okay, cross the line, an imaginary line that I'm not even fishing on. It's not even, there's no question whether you went past the buoys or not. You, you mind taking a photo of us? Yeah, I'm fish over where? Past what the buoys, it? you go, you, uh, six, six pounds, it's seven, yeah, five minus. Good. I know you caught a big. I know you guys caught big. I know you guys caught big. I wish I was not. Bridge. Here, you off the big uh, one? Adam White. Hey, give me the small one. That's some pretty fish, boys. Yeah, we paid. It's under his name. I'll send him to you, man. Nice. All right, cool. I'll give you my number. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you want to sauce Uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and release him down here. All right, yeah. Just walk. Hey, we can do him off the dock. All right. Down here. This water is so freaking hot. It goes mine. Dude, look at them. They're just, they're just chilling. I don't even know they're free yet. <laughs> I know. They were in that nice cold water. We just put them in that hot water. They don't know what happened. Bro, we wish they were back in the lava. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man, you said, well, Dan, you said the bridge when we got out here and you, well, you gave up the rules, you said the bridge. You go up on the top of the hill and you ask that woman where you can go. If she says you go past the boys, then you do. 
How's it going? Huh? Hey, Dub Fishing? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. I'm a fan. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Did you fish the tournament today? I did. Okay. How'd you do? Uh, we caught one small one, didn't oh, weigh yeah. it in. Dude, it was tough. Uh, we oh, tell my cousin that during the hat, he missed one that was probably eight, nine pounds. No way. Rolled right beside the boat. Oh, my God. Yeah, we won. They're just kicking it out because our crankbait got hung up. What was the thing? That's ridiculous. I saw somebody fishing back there behind the buoy. I couldn't tell who it was. They were back there for a while. He was there for an hour and a half. That's what somebody else. He was back there for a while. I mean, yeah, it's like somebody else is taking the money on. No. You hear him yelling? Yeah. He wouldn't. He wouldn't be making such a fuss if he knew he wasn't in the wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. He got caught. Well, I mean, they said he stayed over there. I saw him back there because we were back there. So he said he said that he stayed back there at the end. Yeah, no, he was back there for a while. We saw somebody, but I couldn't tell who it was. I thought it was a kayak because they were so far off. Was he not here this morning? Whenever he announced the bridge, yeah, he said. All he said with the bridge, you I didn't go past the bridge. He went past the bridge. Because I, I asked. Like, I was the one ask. who asked. I was like, we can go on the gas side, correct? And he said, yes. I was like, okay, that's what I need to know. That's what he kept saying. I didn't go by the bridge, but the boys are in front of the bridge. Yeah, there's the three huge the boots right there. Not, I'm about to say, it doesn't matter if it says <laughs> yeah. keep out or whatever. Well, well I mean, you had a chance to win. How much if you didn't supposedly go get a crankbait? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Like if you had a bag that big, you wouldn't risk it. If that. I was a betting man, I I'd say that uh, yeah, no. he uh, caught those fish back there. He would have won. He would have won. Hey, you dropped that dollar out your pocket right there. You just stepped on it right there. Hey, drop some money here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my money for his shirt. I guarantee he called them all back there behind them buoys, though. That's what he said. They watched him pitch two fives. Well, it looked like two fives. Yeah. Back to back. He had the bigger fish, I can say that. Yeah. Where, the, where he got him at, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's the fish I seen. I seen it. I saw that. He didn't catch no fish like, in the legal one, limits. I, I guarantee he, he probably went back, back there where nobody ever fished. They had fish yep. in them. So they, they watched him catch two fours back to back. That's the reason they got them to fish. So you don't get a fish yeah, coming. That's why they got, that's why they got pissed. <laughs> you would have been in the right. You would have stood there and mm -hmm. argued the point. Not Dude, really hey, you know you would have. Yeah, I went back there to get my lure. I mean, six hundred dollars. They wouldn't yeah. have caught no fish if they hadn't have been over that door. Fifteen minutes, and he already had one on. Bam! They was hauling. I'm talking about past the buoys now. This is where he's catching his fish. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. NC fishing board. I've seen it on Facebook before. Yeah. Thank you, right there. Yeah. yeah. Seven, seven, six. Six. seven six. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so basically I'm going to try to make this quick because this could take a very, very long time, but I'm just going to make this really quick. Basically, at the beginning of this tournament, the tournament director actually announced, he said, you cannot go past this bridge, okay? And he did say go past the bridge. He didn't say the buoys, so I guess that's what these guys were kind of trying to go off of, but there is three huge buoys, and you can actually see them in the image. There's three huge buoys that say do not enter, and Everybody who's ever fished the lake knows that you're not allowed to go back there. You can actually get in big, big trouble for going back there. And I know a couple guys have went back there and fished before and they've actually caught really, really big fish because there is a water intake back there. So the fish are stacked up. Nobody fishes back there, so they're stacked up back there. So it's crazy, crazy good. So these guys decided they were gonna go back there, but they came up with the excuse that their crankbait got hung. But these other guys who were fishing the tournament decided they were gonna take a picture of these guys because they knew that it was illegal, but these other guys were saying, oh, I got my $15 crankbait hung up, $15 crankbait, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna get it broken off, blah, blah, blah. But they were back there for an hour and a half. So you're not getting your crankbait unhung for an hour and a half. That's, that's the difference. So these guys knew that what they were doing wasn't right. They knew, I mean, they got really pissed off. They were like, oh, you took our money. We're the ones that won. Good job stealing everybody's money, blah, blah, blah. They were yelling, they were complaining, they were griping and groaning. I mean. They were just overall like just being very rude about it. And you know, most people, if they were like, oh yeah, there's these buoys right here. It says do not enter. I went past there. They would be like, oh crap, I messed up. Okay, I'll disqualify. I mean, that's how most people would be. But these guys, they weren't letting up. They were fighting back about it. They were getting aggressive and mean. And that's how you just know that uh, they knew what they were doing was in the wrong and they knew that they were actually cheating. So yeah, these guys weren't like taking fish out of cages. They weren't like, using live bait they weren't doing anything like that but the thing is is that they were doing something that they were not supposed to do 
and you just can't do that in tournaments whenever there's money on the line and you 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 can't even go back there even when you're not in a tournament. I mean, it's against lake rules. The number one thing that really pissed me off was that these guys were not admitting to it. They were trying to make up excuses because they knew they were in the wrong. That's, that's the thing that made them really, really nasty cheaters because they knew that what they were doing was wrong and they just refused to admit it. They kept making up excuses that didn't make any sense and that were dumb. And that's just what makes them a terrible cheater. Now that that's knocked out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how my day went and Jason's day went, that was my partner. We caught five or six fish all day. I think we actually caught five, had another one come off, so that makes six. And we got third place, I believe. It was either third or fourth, I think it was third. There was only four boats that caught a limit and we were one of those boats. And there was like 15 boats total. So really, really tough day. I'm very, very satisfied with our performance. I really wish we could have gotten that one one bite that was a bigger fish, but we fished clean. We every fish we hooked, we got in. So, I mean, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. We had a we had a good day as far as fishing clean goes. Those fish were just not feeding very well, and that was the same for everybody, except for the cheaters because they caught two five pounders back behind the buoys. I hope that everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and throw a big like down just so that way we can. Uh, we can stick it to the cheaters because we kind of exposed them today. So go ahead, leave a big like on this video. Go ahead, subscribe down below for more crazy content like this. We've got some tournament videos coming out very soon. Maybe we're gonna get a tournament dub pretty soon. I mean, A-Dub getting dubs out here, you never really know. We're gonna have some tournament videos rolling out very soon. Could be some dubs coming, so go ahead, subscribe down below. Leave me a comment down below with some positivity. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Go freaking.